What's up everyone, it's Tony here, and welcome back to another weekly episode on the Yacht Addiction YouTube channel. The super yacht in front of us is an incredibly special boat, and I'm so excited to bring it to you guys today. The yacht in front of us is a Heeson Yachts 146 foot super yacht, first delivered in 2012. Now Heeson Yachts are built in the Netherlands, Dutch ship bowlers are held in incredibly high regard, and for good reason. This yacht has an aluminum hull and an aluminum superstructure, so she's built to last, she's capable of crossing oceans, and it's listed for sale by FGI Yacht Group. Couple of quick stats. The beam is 27 feet, 11 inches. It has a max draft of six feet and seven inches. And we've been granted access to do a complete tour of this super yacht today. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tony and I post a yacht tour every single week. I tour everything from 30 foot cruisers all the way up to beautiful super yachts like this one. Now, before we head on board through the side access door, I did want to quickly show you the transom, although we'll stand on it later in the tour, but I did want to show it off really quick. So this is what the back of the super yacht looks like. You can see this transom wall folds all the way down, and this also actually lowers into the water slightly so you can release your jet skis and tender because this area is a beach club as well as a garage. Now I've done a quick walkthrough with the chief engineer. So I've seen most of the boat. And now that we're making our way on board, you'll get to see all of the boat. So I think we'll head aft. So back here on the aft deck, you have this massive sun pad area, some large speakers built in underneath. And we'll head down to that transom garage later on in the tour. Let's head inside. You'll see this beautiful rounded glass entrance, and this is a powered door. So on the floor here, you have this little foot pedal. which grants you access to the interior. You have a bar area right back here. A little seating area. And look at this beautiful main salon. There is a TV that rises up from this area in case you wanna watch TV in here but up in the sky lounge, you have a much larger TV. Stepping forward, you'll find the formal dining area. And you'll see that this table is set for 10 and this yacht does sleep 10, so it's always nice to see when that's matching. And you also have really great storage built in on the sides here. So we're gonna keep moving forward. This is the formal foyer. So you have a side access door right back here. You have stairs going up and down, which we'll head to in a minute. But first, we're gonna head to the main deck, master cabin. One thing I'm noticing, these doors are extremely heavy and very sturdy. You can tell this is an extremely well-crafted ship. Here's the day head. Moving a little bit forward, you'll end up in the owner's office. Then now we will enter the full beam main deck master. You have lovely LED lights in the ceiling and a large king bed. The TV's up on the wall. You have a sofa on this side, and then this has his and her closets, so there's a closet right here. Then the closet on the other side is much larger.
And then the master bath or the ensuite on this super yacht is one of the nicest I've ever seen on any boat I've toured thus far. There's a beautiful floor. You have a nice tub on this side. You have a really large dual rainfall walk-in shower. Your double vanities are on this side and I love a backlit mirror. Then you have the toilet and bidet. And you have the door right here so you can walk all the way through on this one. Let's get one more look at the master. Even when I'm standing, like every step I take on the floor, this boat just feels incredibly sturdy. So now we're gonna head down to the guest cabins. Like I mentioned, this yacht sleeps 10 in five different staterooms. Here's a little profile shot and diagram of the ship's layout. Here you'll find a queen room with its ensuite. Obviously every ensuite is gonna be pretty spectacular on this boat. You wouldn't expect anything less. You have another queen room right here. Once again, very thick and solid doors with a mirrored ensuite as the last one. Here we have another cabin. And then I thought this room was pretty neat. Obviously this was set up for younger children to use, but it's two single beds. And this one has like the crib attachment on it. I shouldn't even say attachment, it's literally built in. But of course the ensuite is still spectacular. So all the way forward, you'll see there's a door here. There's a little staging area right here. And then through this door, you'll find the crew area. So the crew mess and the place for them to hang out. We'll get to the crew area in a minute. Before we head upstairs. You can see just with all this hallway space, there's just tons of space on this yacht. There is a dumbwaiter making it very easy to send meals or service items up and down. And this whole wall has built-in storage. That hallway leads to the crew area. Well, Go down there in a moment, but first let's check out this awesome commercial kitchen. You can see all of your freezers and refrigerators. You have Mila appliances, your cooktop, and I'm told the crew really loves how the sink is built right here. You have some really large windows. So what a fantastic view while working in here. This door will lead us out to the side deck. That's where we came on board the ship, right up those stairs. And then this is just another way to get up to the helm. But we'll go to the helm momentarily. 
Now this ship is fully crewed, so I don't want to disturb the crew too much, but I do have permission to take a quick peek. This is that door I was talking about that leads to the guest cabins. You have the laundry room. Here's the crew mess. And you can see they have access to the camera system so you can see when any area needs to be serviced or anything like that. And then we do have permission from the chief engineer to check out his room. You can see you have two bunks. And then the ensuite. And in this bunk room, there are three bunks, and then there are two, and two more in this one right to the right. There's also the captain's cabin upstairs. So you can fit eight, possibly nine crew if the captain has a significant other so they can share the captain's cabin. So basically eight or nine crew on this one. Thank you to the crew of Lady L for letting me check out their area. We're getting lost in the maze here. You can see we're back in the foyer. And we've seen the guest cabins down below, so now we're going to head upstairs. You can see a bunch of the Basically, you have the rack for the ship, so all of your wiring is in here. Controls for like the satellite communication systems, all of that stuff. You have this little prep and pantry area in here. And then here is the helm. And then, like I said, the captain's cabin is attached to the helm. And we do have his permission to take a quick peek. So he has a desk area, a double bed, the TV up on the wall, closets in here, and then the ensuite. So this is a very spacious captain's cabin. I'm sure he has no. No complaints. So here is the Sky Lounge. It's another fantastic place to hang out on this super yacht. You have a huge oversized chase sofa sectional and a large TV up on the wall. There's also another dining area up here. Obviously you can use this as a cigar lounge, play a game of poker, which I personally would be doing. If we push this button, these rounded glass doors will open up and lead us out to the bridge, aft deck. Look at this beautiful table set up for al fresco dining. And then if we go up these stairs, this will lead us to the sun deck. And it's another fantastic place to hang out. You 
forward you have these extremely large sun pads which flank the hot tub in the middle. And I like how the hot tub is all the way forward. You get a tremendous view off the front of this boat. And you also have a nice maker and fridge in here as well as a grill and a sink. Then you can see all of your satellite, radar, and other communication systems up here on the mast. We'll head back down to this aft deck. And we'll make our way forward on the side decks and go check out the bow. If you're enjoying seeing this super yacht, please leave a like on the video. It helps pump out the video to more and more people and it helps the channel grow, so I greatly appreciate it. And also, if there's a particular part of the super yacht that you love, let me know in the comment section down below. You can see some life rafts stored here. There's also a tender stored here and you can see the crane that's integrated right here, so it's very sleek. There is a whole garage to store jet skis and another tender. So that's not your only option. I love how this U-shaped seating area is built in. So it's a little bit lower than where you'd normally expect. And then you can see this little track system here. It looks like you can lay out some massive sun pads on a perfect angle to enjoy the sun. Then if we go all the way forward, you'll see the Lady L Bell. And I like how this is very spacious, gives the crew plenty of room to work. No one's cramped in here, which is great for the crew's well-being, their safety. It just makes things a lot easier. So now we're gonna go check out that garage I was talking about as well as the engine room. This yacht has very impressive capabilities. The chief engineer told me they have made multiple ocean crossings. So if we step down all the way, you'll see this transom door, which normally will sit flush right here. It will fold all the way over. You have a couple of sea bobs on display. And here is a pretty versatile area. You could use this as a beach club when everything's down and out, but it's also where you would store multiple jet skis and another tender. So if you look right here in the back of the room, there are a couple of winch systems. So that's how you pull and release the toys and tender into the water. And then this tender door will lower slightly just at an angle. So everything can slide right out the back of the boat. A couple of other cool things in here. You have a day head with a shower. It's great so you don't have to go running through the boat. There's also a sauna built in right here. And then there's storage for a few different systems. But one thing I did see is behind this door, you have all of your snorkeling gear, excuse me, all of your diving gear. So you can see your tank storage and a few other systems. Now the engines are through this door You have two John Deere generators. There's a bunch of equipment in the middle between the two engines. But here you can see one of the MTU engines and the other is on this side. Now this yacht comes with a pair of MTU V16 4000 M90 engines they're 3,650 horsepower each. 
gives you a top speed of around 24 knots and when you're going flat out you'll get about 1200 nautical miles of range at that max speed but you drop it down to 12 knots you get about 3000 miles of range go down to 10 knots you'll get even closer to 4000 miles like i said this yacht has made transatlantic crossings so it can move pretty quick for a boat of its size but it also has the range as well and then this is the chief engineer's office so he has his little office space and then he can monitor all of the systems on the boat from here chief engineer is actually hard at work, so I'll get out of his way. Just double checking in my head, I'm pretty sure we've hit every single area on the super yacht. We're just moving around. I'm trying to avoid getting anyone on camera that doesn't want to be. So we're back in the master cabin and I think we'll do the outro right here. If you enjoyed this super yacht, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part was. Thank you to FGI Yacht Group for letting me do the tour. This listing of theirs will be linked down in the description below if you want to see it in greater detail. I personally thought this was one of the nicest super yachts I've ever been on. So I'm super glad I was able to tour it for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed. Until next time.